Welcome to another chaotic classroom clip. This one is for grade 12 learners following life sciences in the CAPS curriculum. Today's topic is precocial versus altricial development. Now, when we look at precocial and altricial development, there are two things we need to watch out for. The first one is the amount of yolk in the egg, and the evidence will also be very visible in the offspring. First up is our precocial development. So precocial development, first we look at the egg yolk. There will be a large quantity of egg yolk. And then when we look at the offspring, the offspring will be born independently. Their eyes will be open. They will have down feathers if they're birds. And they'll be able to move and feed independently. Now remember, these two things actually have something to do with each other. The amount of yolk in the egg means that there's more time for development before the egg is hatched, which means that the organism is stronger. Now, the examples don't just include birds like chickens and ducks, but also things like elephants and cows and sheep. Then when we look at our altricial development, here we'll have a small quantity of yolk and the offspring will then be helpless. Their eyes will be closed. There will not be any down feathers if they are birds and they are unable to move or feed independently. Why? Because that small quantity of yolk leads to less time for development before the egg is hatched. A good way to remember this is that altricial organisms will get all of their requirements from their parents even after they have been born. That means that there's a lot of parental care. Examples here include things like puppies and owls and kittens and humans. And as you can see from the pictures, they are pretty helpless. Thank you for visiting the Chaotic Classroom. See you next time.